next thing next theme or next thing in the uh, module number 1 is intelligent systems categorization of intelligent system components of ai program there will be definitely question on this and we will see some slides on this to understand uh, the components of ai system uh, what it may uh, what it needs to have a ai program uh, what, what it needs to have a program that we can call an ai okay so that is what components of ai means so if i am building a program and i want to educate or adjudge it as a ai program or a program that shows intelligence then what should be the fundamental building blocks of such program that is that is what comes under components of ai okay so agar yani koi program hai to usko ai hone ke liye kya kya abilities lagenge shayad usko kuch sensing abilities chahiye usko kuch thought processing abilities chahiye aur usko decision making abilities chahiye after that he should be able to store all that it or all the information that it generates in this process of uh, reasoning okay so it has to have an ability of storing his experience so these are few components that are required but besides that there is one more component which is many a times we feel or we neglect in many application areas like data mining and other thing which is reporting tools so reporting tools hum log bahut baar ya graphical tools graphical reporting tools and all we just skip learning that when we are learning data mining or we learn, we skip learning uh, showing uh, showing your data analysis using graphs and all lekin ye bahut important hai so we have any insights understand kiya hai you should be able to communicate them back to the interlocutor so whenever there is an ai system there has to be a user of that ai system right so there has to be an interaction between the user of the ai system and ai so this interrogator that is interrogating the system the system has to have some way of communicating back to it okay so there has if the user who is using ai is a person then that person would expect the ai system to in, uh, to get back to him with answers like what humans give right then only he will say that okay ye program ai ai hai okay if he feels that the other side the program that is talking and that is uh, with whom that particular user is interacting is a human okay then only that ai is an ai otherwise he is not an ai so there has to be some way of the ai program to have ability to first understand the conversation that the user do in natural languages and then the ai system should also be able to communicate back in the natural language discourse discourse yani flow okay flow of communication ko discourse bola jata hai to agar uh, main ai program develop kar raha hu to wo ai program tabhi hoga ki usko natural language processing capabilities inherently aati hai so such building blocks actually make up an ai program so i should have some way of storing the information so जनरली हम लोग इन्फॉर्मेशन को भी कुछ अलग अलग तरीके से एट्रीब्यूट करते हैं वेन आई एम जस्ट सेंसिंग थिंग्स आई कॉल इट आज जस्ट अ डेटा बिट और डेटा पीस और आई कॉल इट डेटा फॉर सिंप्लिस्टिक वर्जन ऑफ इट वेन आई गेट दैट इन टू माई सिस्टम एंड आई एसोसिएट सर्टन यूनिट विथ इट और सर्टन आई एसोसिएट सर्टन वट कैन से आई सैम्पल दी नंबर ऑफ वैल्यूज दैट आर कमिंग विथ कमिंग टू मी and maybe average them together or represent them in a different manner along with its unit or along with its tag then i call it as information sometimes okay once i have the information and i have large amount of information it becomes difficult for me to store the entire information so what i seek is from the information i seek certain patterns when those patterns are put together and represented nicely what i get is insights these insights i may refer to it as knowledge now when i get this knowledge from the patterns that i extracted from information pieces okay when i utilize them to take decisions and generate new data i refer to it as wisdom so this is how maturity in the data comes so we start with data we make it into information uh, formal representation it can be a flat file it can be a database table it can be anything okay information can be just a sentence from a wikipedia or information can be a sentence from a book or a collection of books can also be referred to as information 
then when i actually get those books and study those and use them to write my paper and excel in the paper what i'm trying to do i'm trying to gain knowledge from the information which is stored in the book so knowledge is when i apply the information i get the understanding from the information that that information same information now becomes a knowledge and when i use my knowledge in day to day professional life to earn money maybe to earn a livelihood or to uh, support my family or do anything that i like to do then that would be the wisdom that i have that i got through my degree or something so this is how we also in computer science ye to main general example diya aapko information ko alag alag levels mein tarashte hai you 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 can refer, refer to this as knowledge discovery in databases kdd or whatever you may call you want to call jinhone data mining sikha hai for especially computer engineering students since you had data mining and uh, data warehousing last semester you might have heard the term kdd knowledge discovery in databases okay that's a very narrower thing and nowadays people don't talk about knowledge discovery in databases i have uh, array of uh, ways in which i can get information sourced into my data warehouse or into my uh, i should say cloud environment a storage cloud i should say and then i actually churn that information and try to make it more and more informative by doing maybe pattern recognition maybe by applying a data mining algorithm and what not okay so let us keep this as story apart but what i need to need you to understand is so whenever i am talking about components of ai programs or ai systems there has to be a component that stores this knowledge so that my previous experiences that i had with my user i can utilize my knowledge based on those experiences i can build my knowledge based on those experiences and utilize this knowledge in my future experiences to better my performance again the goals see the goals of ai system is always trying to better yourself intelligent being koi bhi ho wo agar koi task aaj kar raha hai to wo strive karega ki kal main usse behtar karu ओके okay, ये आपने बहुत बार साइकोलॉजी में या फिर किसी मोटिवेशनल टॉक में भी सुना होगा यू शुड कम्पीट विथ योर पास्ट यू शुड नॉट कम्पीट विथ अदर्स तो यही मतलब है यही चीज है जो हमको इंटेलिजेंट बनाता है एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी ट्राइंग ट्राई टू लर्न इन दिस सब्जेक्ट बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स मेकिंग प्रोग्राम डू थिंग्स इंटेलिजेंट दैट्स ऑल इज द डिफरेंस ओके सो देर इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस कम्पोनेट ऑफ ए then what's the difference between intelligent system and artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is an attribution of a quality to a program or to an appliance okay it's an attribution to a program or an appliance whereas intelligent system is a collection of programs a suite or a collect or a system that is built which is having intelligence which is having intelligence सो यही डिफरेंस है दोनों में बाकी कोई कुछ चीज नहीं दोनों एक ही है बट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस इज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू अ थिंग वेर एज दिस इज अस्टम दैट वी आर बिल्डिंग सो कोहरेंटली द एंटायर सिस्टम शोज द इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम इज शोइंग द इंटेलिजेंस एंड वन यूनिट हैज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ओके सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू टर्म्स इंटेलिजेंस सिस्टम में कुछ सिस्टम बोले जाते हैं जो जो के स्ट्रॉन्ग ए आई होते हैं और जो वी के आई होते हैं मैंने कुछ एग्जाम्पल दिया वी के आई में एग्जाम्पल है दी एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम विच आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वी के आई ओके सो इसके बारे में हम लोग जरूर देखेंगे अगले लेक्चर में सो विल बी लुकिंग एट ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर दैट इज वाई आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू वट इज इम्पोर्टेंट एंड वट इज नॉट दैट इम्पोर्टेंट नाउ सब एरिया ऑफ ए आई नो बड़ी आस्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए आई पीपल कूड आस्क यू क्वेश्चन ऑन Uh, this in your oral examination or maybe at at the time of interview so you should know what are different application areas where ai is applicable but i seldom if feel somebody can ask a theory question on this because there are so many applications that you can think of where ai is applicable you need to just understand what is ai ai is trying to mimic human behavior or thought process so jahan jahan human behavior or thought process intelligence show karta hai human ka all those places i can apply ai and nowadays we see so many different applications of ai for simplistic application of ai when i start typing into a search box okay and 
my my word from say uh, artificial automatically the intelligence word comes up or some other words from some actions or associations so what are they they are kind of recommendations to me okay as i go and buy some product on amazon through my application of amazon and next day i open my browser okay i start getting certain suggestions and recommendation in my browser as the browser is sold to me by google amazon is on my android phone okay so these system are actually trying to recommend you the other thing is that uh, maybe i have bought a particular product on amazon i have given a rating for that product after my use is over the rating is used okay by these people to market their products in a better manner because they study who i am what background i am from what exactly is my age group what demography i have what cultural background i am from and based on this information and my recommendation whether i like the product or whether i did not dislike the product based on all this information what they can do is they can actually try and understand who would be the target user of their product and if a person fills into that category they will start bombarding some advertisement and other things there so whether this is good or whether this is bad for some people this will be good for some people this will be totally annoying totally uh, creating some issues with respect to their privacy but these all things uh, they are part and parcel of our life now and they will be for future okay that is why we are learning computer engineering that is why we are learning it engineering that is why we are learning these subjects okay because these are the areas of research that people currently utilize okay so let us now uh, look at the second module so this is the first module and this is vividly what you are supposed to see in the first module now the second module seems uh, divided into two parts one is referred to as agent and environment now when you try to understand ki mujhe ek ai banana hai तो मुझे कुछ नीत नए तरीके से सोचना पड़ेगा आई कान राइट जस्ट हाज इंक्लूड एस टी डी आर डॉट एच एंड आई राइट माई मेन और आई स्टार्ट राइटिंग सम क्लासेस सम इनहेरिटेंस आई राइट के ये मेरा क्लास होगा होगा दिस वे ऑफ मॉडलिंग दी प्रोग्राम विल नॉट बी सफिशियंट दिस इज वॉट पीपल आइडेंटिफाइड एट दी ऑनसेट ऑफ गेटिंग स्टार्टिंग टू डेवलप ए आई टेक्निक्स सो वॉट द इवॉल्व वॉज द इवॉल्व अल्टीमेटली an abstraction way of modeling the artificially intelligent being artificially intelligent cheez ko represent karne ke liye they evolved an abstraction or an abstract representation that was given a name called as agent so agent is an abstract representation this is very simple concept okay isme kya kya yaad rakhna hai aapko agent is anything that you can think of which has percepts okay then they have certain thought process or that certain processing unit and they have certain appendages so they have sensors through which they can perceive the environment they have certain processing steps to process these percepts and then they have certain things called as appendages through which they can impart an action on the environment so anything that you see around you just look at uh, look at the ceiling you will see the ceiling fan you will find that okay it has an input it takes current okay it takes the capacitor value to control controller the uh, knob that changes the speed of fan right so what it changes it changes the capacitance so it takes the uh, electricity it, uh, it takes the value of capacitance and then accordingly it spins so spinning is what it is the way it imparts some of action on the environment so environment kya hai fan ke bahar ka sab cheez hai wo environment hai fan ke system ke bahar ka so this way anything in the world can be an agent so you will see that to isme kya badi baat hai to kuch bhi cheez agent hai to main program ka bhi aise hi sochta tha na program mein input process and output so there will be processing steps there will be inputs and there will be outputs fine no issues but ye itna si itna hi nahi hai when i talk about agents and agent environments i need to understand that they are 
various ways in which I can model these things. So the three things that I talked about right now, uh, when I talked about agent, I said that it's like a box which will have percepts. It will have sensors through which percepts would come. There would be certain processing done inside it and there would be certain ways in which it will impart things on outside world. So this agent, internal part can be implemented in various ways. So I may put a question mark, mark on that and I may have different ways of implementing this inside part of the agent. Okay. So we'll look at closely to, uh, what do you mean by an agent simply. Then what do you mean by an agent environment? What are types of agent environments? Okay, what are different organizations of this agent? What are different architectures that can make this agent work differently in different circumstances? Okay, then we talk about a analysis technique or anal analyzing technique called as PEAS descriptors. That when applied to a situation will give you enough insight in order to get an agent abstraction for a situation. So PES is what? PES is a analysis technique. So I, if I give you a scenario where somebody is uh, there and working as an intelligent being and you want to build an AI out of it. So before you go start building your AI solution, you first do PES analysis. That is you find out performance measure, you find out what is environment, what are the actuators and what are the sensors? So actuators are the appendages using which you give away the actions. Sensors are the appendages using which you take the sensory inputs or the percepts as input. And E stands for environment. What is environment? What is the work envelope in which this particular thing is going to work? And the performance measure. How do I adjust the performance? Because the artificial intelligence is Ko evaluate karne ki hamesha sochte ho. Okay, so machine learning as a develop ni hai. Machine learning AI dono saath me bade hue bache hai. So dono ne ek dusre ke saath kuch kuch liya hai. Agent abstraction has taken the concept of learning from machine learning and incorporated it into an agent type called as learning agent. Okay, there are various agent types. Goal based agent is there. Problem solving agent is there, logical agent is there, then there is simple reflex agent, table driven agent. So there are different agent types. So we'll learn about this agent abstraction in this particular module 2.1. Okay. So structure of agent may yahi hum see agent ke alag alag architecture ke vajay se types kya hote hai, that are called as types of agents. Okay. And finally we'll understand about learning agent. Okay. Learning agent kya hota hai? These are the things that we are supposed to learn in 2.1. 2.2, we'll talk about problem solving by searching. So, ye jo agent abstraction se mein represent karta hon, design tayar karta, ready karta hon for AI. Agar ye design se aage mujhe kuch uh, karna hai, to for that, I need to define the agent as a problem solving agent. Jis mein mein ek AI problem ko formulate karta hon. Pahle hi mainne bola tha aapko, problem, Yahan pe, jab hai bolta hu, formulating a problem, I am not creating problems. I am defining problems formally so that I can apply these search techniques to solve those problems. So problem solving agent kya karta hai? Ek problem input leta hai aur ek solution output deta hai. That is what problem solving agent work. So it's an abstraction to look at solution of an AI as First, you define the problem, take the problem input, solve the problem, and give away the action sequence or solution of the problem. So, ye tarika hoga humko hamara dekne ka towards AI problem. Okay. Then, since problem solving agent requires problem as input, I should be able to represent any real world situation into an AI problem. So whenever I am trying to formulate that problem, AI problem जो होगा वो formal representation से mathematics में आपको question पूछा जाता है, उसके बाद आप क्या करते हो? You write given, then you write these theorems will be used, and then you use those theorems and given, and based on that you prove something or you compute something. Right? That is how you go about doing things in mathematics. Similar way we will be doing things here as well. 
फॉर्मुलेटिंग प्रॉब्लम में हम लोग एक फॉर्मल तरीके से जैसे आप मैथमेटिक्स में इनपुट्स लिखते थे जैसे आप कुछ इनिशियल वैल्यूज लेते थे कुछ एजम्पन्स करते थे देन यू यूज टू राइट सर्टन थेर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू सर्टन एक्सम्स विच आर गोइंग टू हेल्प यू एंड देन यू राइट दी सोल्यूशन राइट सिमिलरली ये जो इनिशियल पार्ट होता था आपकी मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम के सोल्यूशन का वही यहाँ पे फॉर्मुलेटिंग प्रॉब्लम में आपको फॉर्मल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम देगा वंस आई हैव दैट फॉर्मल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम आई कैन फीड इट टू माय प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एजेंट प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एजेंट फॉर मी इज अ सॉल्यूशन टेक्निक दैट टेक्स दिस प्रॉब्लम एज इनपुट यूजेस द सर्चिंग टेक्निक्स टू सर्च फॉर द सॉल्यूशन पाथ और द सॉल्यूशन सीक्वेंस ऑफ एक्शन एंड देन दैट सीक्वेंस कम्स एज एन आउटपुट Okay, so this is exactly what we are going to learn in chapter 